Welcome to the Core Skill Building Collection. In this video, you will learn the basics of the IDEF0 diagram. The IDEF0 diagram presents an integrated picture of the inputs, control, outputs, and mechanism for a function's decomposition. Part of the behavioral representation set, the IDEF0 diagram displays a great deal of context information on the interrelationships of the decomposition without displaying the actual control logic. Originally specified by the National Institute of Standards and Technology in Standard FIPS 183, the IDEF0 diagram is used less frequently than other behavioral representations, but is still a valuable part of an integrated representation set. On an IDEF0 diagram, the subfunctions are shown on the main diagonal. The order of functions on an IDEF0 diagram is computed by traversing the structure of the parent function as shown graphically in an activity diagram, or EFFBD. The structure is traversed left to right, with parallel and select constructs traversed one branch at a time, top to bottom. If desired, you can manually change and manage the order using the Change Node Position command in the right-click menu. This can be useful for clustering analysis. Inputs enter on the left. There are no inputs on this diagram. These can either come from the edge of the diagram, if they are external inputs, or from another function on the diagram. Triggers enter on the top. There are several triggers on this diagram. These can either come from the edge of the diagram, if they are external triggers, or from another function on the diagram. Outputs exit on the right. Outputs can either connect to another function on the diagram, exit to the edge of the diagram, or both. Mechanisms are physical resources that perform the function, and they enter on the bottom. Mechanisms are also called ICOMs. There are two special aspects to the IDEF0. First is branching. Individual ICOM arrows fork and join on the diagram. Where an arrow forks, that represents the relationship between a parent element and a child element. Where two arrows join, that represents the relationship between a child element and a parent element. In this way, the IDEF0 diagram elegantly represents multiple levels of hierarchy in items and components, bringing additional clarity to the model. The second special aspect is tunneling. Tunneling is a technique within IDEF0 to hide an ICOM in part of the model. The use of parentheses around either the head or tail of an arrow depicts a tunnel in IDEF0. A parenthesis around the head of an arrow that is entering a function box indicates that the icon associated with that arrow will not be seen on the decomposition of that function. If the icon does reappear, it will have parentheses around its tail. Core handles this issue automatically. Generally, a complete model will not have tunnels. If the tunnel appears on your diagram, you should examine the decomposition and resolve appropriately. An IDEF0 should have a purpose and a viewpoint. In Core, you can add these using the Note capability. In the Classic Diagram options, the IDEF0 diagram settings offers two more options. First, Show Box Numbers controls whether or not to display IDEF0 box numbers in the lower right corner of every icon. Second, Use DRE controls whether a detail reference expression instead of a decomposition box in the upper right corner to represent that an additional layer of detail exists. If the DRE is used, the element number is displayed below the lower right corner of the icon to indicate the number of the decomposition diagram for that element. This video is a lightweight introduction to the IDEF0. To fully leverage this view, we recommend that you examine the FIPS 183 standard. We've also found Dennis Beatty's The Engineering Design of Systems to be a good resource on this topic. This completes the overview of the IDEF0 diagram. To learn more about using Core, Go back to our screencast page and view the rest of the skill building collection.